what if I told you I had three more budget teams that can earn you the most SLP? So strap into your seats, make sure to subscribe. I'm Black Dawn on Crypto, and let's get right into this video. First, for the teams we're gonna show, is a triple plant team. For the front plant, we're gonna want Pumpkin, Sirius, Yam, Rosebud. You're gonna want it to be 31 speed. So let's go to 31 speed. So this is gonna be our first pickup here. So it has 61 health, 31 speed. It has Pumpkin, which has 110 shield. Draw a card if this Axie shield doesn't break. You have Rosebuzz, which gives you 50 shield, heals this Axie for 120. You have Sirius, which steals one energy and gives you 30 shield. And then you have Yam, which applies a poison to your opponent. The whole goal of this build is to stall and then apply poison to your opponent. We'll go into more detail as we go on. Next, we're going to want to switch up Rosebud or Strawberry Shortcake. And this here will be our midliner. So the only thing that's different is Strawberry Shortcake takes two energy, gives you 40 shield, heals a front Axie for 270. If there's no front teammates, it heals this Axie instead. And then for last, we're going to want get rid of Yam, get rid of Strawberry Shortcake, Let's see if there's bait, fish snacks, and leaf bug. We're gonna want this guy here, and this will be your backliner. What leaf bug does is it generates one energy when comboed with a plant card. So if you combo with either pumpkin or Sirius, you generate an energy. Fish snack does 60 damage, 90 shield, applies a stun to aquatic and bird axes. This can only be triggered once per round. This is really nice if you're attacking into aquas or birds, and usually most axes have some mixed cards, so this is really nice. Now I'm going to show you in game how to line it up and kind of the strengths and weaknesses of this comp. Now we're going to want to put the guy in the middle here. This will be the one with Rosebud, Yam, Sirius, and Pumpkin. For a midliner, we're going to want to put him in the middle again as well. So we're going to put him here like this. This will have the Strawberry Shortcake, the Sirius, the Pumpkin, and Yam. And then our bait guy will be going in the bottom right hand corner. He'll be sitting right here. This is the way you're going to want to line up this comp. The whole goal of this comp is to stall your opponent. So you want them to attack into you and for you to heal up on the next turn. So you're going to want to put a massive shield on certain turns and heal. You're also going to want to steal energy from your opponent. The whole point of this comp is to control your opponent by stealing their energy and healing up. So you're not going to want to play the first turn. You're probably just going to want to pass. Then for a second turn, maybe you want to yam if you think your opponent's going to attack into you. Maybe you want to shield as well so you don't die to a beast. And then remember, you can also use Strawberry Shortcake to heal up your front guy. So remember, you can kind of combo with it. So your whole goal with this comp is just stall, combo, take them to Blood Moon, and kill them in Blood Moon. Now, let's show the next comp. The next comp is a poison comp. For our tank, we're going to want Pumpkin, Sirius, Leaf Bug, and Yam. Also, we're going to want it to be 31 speed. Pumpkin does 110 shield, draws you a card. Leaf Bug does 20 damage, 20 shield, generates you an energy when combo with the plant card. You have Sirius again, which is 30 damage, 30 shield. And then you have Yam, which does 20, 20, and applies a poison to your opponent. For a midliner, we're going to want a Toothless Raid, Grass Snake, Serastes, Surprise Invasion. You're kind of up to a bunch of choices here. You can find anything that's cheaper to go in the top slot. Um, something that's not a zero cost card though. So let's say like Scarab, Buzz Buzz, Bone Sail, Risky Arrow. We're putting in a bunch of different choices that you guys can pick from to find yourself the cheapest. So here actually it looks like it's going to be the cheapest. We, we actually kind of want it to be a reptile because reptiles do more damage and get more shield from the Serastes, the Toothless Raid, and the Grass Snake. So maybe trying to pick up one here if you're willing to pay a little bit more for your midliner might also help. But if you're if you're not wanting to, then you just get the cheapest one here. Um, there's also other choices that we can go with as well. So there is Sandal, Fur Ball. So as you can see, this is still probably the cheapest that you're going to find right here. This one right here for 0.669. So this would be my midliner. Also, the most expensive, but I think the best, is the Bone Sail version. So if you can get this one here with Bone Sail for a little bit more, I'll cover both of these. Risky Arrow does 125 damage, 25 shield, deals 150 damage if this actually is in last stand. Then you have Surprise Invasion, which does 90 damage, 60 shield, does 130 damage if the Axie... If your opponent actually is faster, then you have Toothless Rage, which does 20, 40, and targets the furthest enemy. And then you have Grass Snake, which does 20 damage and 30 poison. This is the alternative where you have Bone Sail, which does 80 damage, 80 shields. So whenever this shield breaks, you end up generating a card. So you can put up like 200 plus shield when you're attacking into your opponent. It's really, really nice. This one is also really good. You can still put up 200 plus shield, but with Risky Arrow, you're just doing more damage. So the trade-off is more damage versus more shield. Then for a backliner, we're going to want to go with Winghorn, Grass Snake, 
tiny turtle. And then again, you're kind of open to multiple choices here. You can go with the classic, which is the garish worm, which I think is not the best. This is probably the worst out of all the choices, but there's also furball, risky arrow, bone sail, buzz buzz, sandal. And also here, you kind of want it to be a dusk because you want it to have more health and you want it to be faster. So this one here that has 51 speed is kind of the choice that I would go with. I think this one's really, really good. So I like this one. We can also look at this one here just to show you the cheaper alternative. So for 0 0.06, it has Risky Arrow, which is 125 damage. It has Winghorn, which does 50 damage, 10 shield, skips to the closest target if there are two or more axes. So what it means is it's going to hit the middle axe. This will always hit the middle one. Then you have Tiny Turtle, which does 75 damage, 50 shield, applies a stun to the target when comboed with two cards, and then you have Grass Snake, which does a little bit of poison damage. This would be your backliner, and for 51 speed, you can't go with a better deal than this one. Then for the alternative, the alternative has Buzz Buzz here. It's 50... The alternative has Buzz Buzz here. It's 47 speed. What Buzz Buzz does is 110 damage, 40 shield, and applies an attack down to the target. Now, I'm going to hop into game, and I'm going to show you how to line up this comp. Okay, now that we're in game, let me show you how to line it up. So, for our tank, we're going to want our tank to be here. We're going to want our one with Toothless and Surprise Invasion to be right here. And then we're going to want our Winghorn guy to be behind him. We want the fastest guy in the back because the Winghorn has the most control with the Tiny Turtle. And you also want your midliner to be able to tank up whenever your opponent's not expecting it. One thing that's nice about the Surprise Invasion guy is he can put up... 200 shield and your opponent won't be expecting it so maybe you're on like 50 health but you throw all your cards on your middle liner and you put up 200 shield well your opponent usually will underplay and not end up killing your midliner the whole goal of this comp is to play kind of slow you pass first turn you kind of yam to generate energy you play your leaf bug to generate energy your pumpkin as well to draw cards defend as long as you can by turn three maybe your plant will be dead either turn three or turn four when your plant dies then you go for a wombo combo you go for a big middle line play and a big backline play and try and kill off both the middle and backline. You can start poisoning the front guy early if they have a good tank that you want to get rid of. It all comes down to what your opponent's playing and how you want to combo. But the whole thing is this deck is really combo reliant. So you need to save up your cards, build up for a bit of energy, and then throw all your cards at the same time. You don't want to just spam your cards. You want to you want to build and generate energy. All right, now for our last team. Now for the Buntenna team. First, you're gonna want bug signal. You're going to want Cute bunny. For the front guy, you're gonna want Bone Sail and Nemo. So I like this one here because it's a little bit faster. So 47 speed is the one I'm gonna pick up. It has a little bit less health, but I think it's okay. So what Bone Sail does is it gives you 80 shield and 80 damage. Draw a card if this actually shield breaks. Then you have Bug Signal, which does 80 damage, 50 shield, steals an energy from your opponent when comboed with another Bug Signal. So what a combo means is you have to play or when chained with the Bug Signal. What a chain means is when you play one on one axis and when you play one on another axis. It doesn't mean when you play two on the same axis. So they have to be played on different axes. Then for Cute Bunny here, Cute Bunny does 100 damage, 35 shield, and applies a fear for two turns. What a fear does is it means your opponent will miss the next two cards that are played. So if you play two cards, then then it'll get unfeared. If they play two cards, it'll get unfeared. So this is really good to be able to control your opponent. And then you have Nemo here, which is just an energy generator. For our midliner, we're going to want to switch out Nemo and put anesthetic bait. Something like this will work as well. So it's Bone Sail, Cute Bunny, Antenna. And then what anesthetic bait does is it does 60 damage, 90 shield, applies stun when struck by aquatic or bird cards, only can be triggered once per round. So you can stun your opponent whenever they attack into you with aquatic or bird cards. This is really, really nice. It gives you a lot of control. It means your opponent probably won't be playing many Nemos into you. Uh, you can also use Bug Signal. Bug Signal is more of just a fear threat than anything else. And then for our last guy, we're going to want to switch Bone Sail out and Anesthetic Bait. We're gonna want Nemo and Goldfish. We're going to want it to have a little bit more speed. We want it to be as fa we want it to be faster than our our front and middle guy. So we're going to want it to be 51 speed if we can get it. So here, this one will actually work for us because our guy is kind of slower. So 48 speed would actually work, but 51, if it's possible, is the way I would go. So we're going to move this up to 51, and here we go. This one here will work. So what Goldfish does, it does 105 damage, 20 shield, apply speed up for two rounds when attacked. So when your opponent attacks into you, you actually get a speed up. So this way you can outspeed your opponent by having them attack into you. Also, you can put a massive amount of shield. This is really nice because it also scares your opponent from not attacking into you and letting you apply a massive amount of shield and a massive amount of pressure. And then you have Nemo here, which generates you another energy. Now let's hop into game so I can show you how to line up this comp. Now that we're in game, let me show you the lineup.
So for your front guy, you're going to want him here. For your mid guy, you're going to want him here. The one with anesthetic baits. And for the aqua, you're going to want him in the back over here. The way this comp plays is it plays pretty aggressively. You want to use Bug Signal and Nemos to generate yourself energy and also to put a scare and pressure onto your opponent. The whole thing with this comp is you want to make your opponent play into you and, and play super aggressively. So they attack into your bone sails, you end up drawing cards, you have Bug Signal to be as a threat like whenever you think your opponent's not going to do anything and it's going to pass, then you can play Bug Signals into them. It keeps them always attacking you and the nice thing about your midliner is it's super tanky and it can generate so much shield they have to throw into you or they end up losing all their energy and they do no damage to you anyways. So with this comp, you're going to want to attack first turn, probably maybe pass second turn, maybe build up cards on third turn. It's all about how much damage you do and how aggressive you can be. Also, remember to try and save bug signals for turns that you think you can end up stealing your opponent's energy. If you don't end up throwing them on turn one, they'll probably think a threat of you having them on turn two. If you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.